Guess what, Jason Albin? <laughs> we have a, uh, we have a magician in the house. Awesome. I love that. <laughs> Give it up for uh, Tommy Wind, everybody. Yeah. Got a cool show. Cool show on the strip, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ask him where it is. Where's your show at? It is at the Tommy Wynn Theater. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 3765 yeah. South Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, right across from the Monte Carlo, uh, right between the Fat Burger and the Walgreens. It There's an awesome Korean barbecue over there. Yeah, it's really, really good, right? It, literally, you walk out the doors of my theater, and you're literally standing right next to that uh, Korean barbecue. Their food is really good. It's called ginseng, by the way. Just to let you know, I've been there. <laughs> really, really good food. And... Uh, Wait, is this for the... Is that why he's here? To promote this restaurant? <laughs> yes, of course it is. <laughs> it's right next door. Uh, but no, the, the food is actually really good there, and uh, we're located right next door to them. So if anybody knows where Ginseng Barbecue is, we're, we're right there. It actually used to be the Old Empire Ballroom, which was a huge, huge place. It was one of the first nightclubs in Vegas when it was back when it was the Mets, mm. and then uh, went through a few different ownership takeovers, and then uh, finally now it's... Uh, I'm, I'm there. The Tom, it's the Tommy Wynn Theater. And Believed I'm, to be haunted. Uh, yeah. It, uh, well, you know, here's the thing. It, we <laughs> thought it was haunted, and then we we, we we really believed it was haunted, and then uh, I ran around the uh, theater throwing salt all over the place and making the sign of the cross, and we haven't seen a ghost since, so I think everything's cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm thinking you could have sold more tickets. <laughs> what happened? I think you could have sold more tickets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know. The Haunted we, Magician. We See, that's what you said. It's the Haunted Magic Show. You just tell people that you sold out, but half the crowd's already disappeared, yeah. and you don't know where they went. <laughs> <laughs> they, they joined the, uh, the, the ghost uh, conglomerate over there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how long have you been in Vegas? I've been in Vegas for six years. Uh, I originally am from Staten Island, New York, and I uh, came out to Vegas about uh, six, well, about seven years ago, moved out here six years ago, became a resident of Las Vegas uh, six years ago, and worked really hard to get a show up and running on the Strip. And in between living out here, uh, I did some tours, but I've been consistently here for the past six years. Not only uh, not only do you get your own show on the strip, but a theater too. So that yep, what a coincidence! You found a building with the same name. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was really it was really rough finding that when uh, when they asked me, uh, you know, so what type of theater you're looking for? Well, it needs to be named the Tommy Wood Theater. You're like, look, it's a sign that I need to do my my show right there. Half the signs out right now, so it says Tom Theater. But we got them coming out. It's not bad. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh, so how, uh, what got you into magic? Uh, well, when I was seven years old, my grandfather showed me my first trick, showed me how to make a handkerchief disappear, thought it was the coolest thing ever, uh, went out, got a magic set, learned every trick in the set, and then, uh, I wound up getting my first job as a magician. I was 13 years old, and I was doing card tricks in a pizzeria for five bucks, slice of pizza and a Coke. That's what I did. <laughs> and, uh, worked really, really, really hard, and without the help of my family, a lot of hard work and a lot of help from God, wouldn't be where I am today, so... Very cool. That's really cool. And uh, who uh, do you look up to, Marie Sajak? Because your hair kind of is going that route. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's funny. Murray uh, is actually a really uh, good uh, friend of mine. Matter of fact, Murray and Chloe are, are good friends with me and Stacy. Stacy's my fiance, and uh, and and it's it's funny. We're all blondes, so it's funny. There's a few pictures <laughs> on Facebook of, uh, of me, Stacy, uh, Chloe, Murray, and then Chris and Lydia from Zoe Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> all stand together and we're all <laughs> me, Murray, and Chris all have our blonde like hair, <laughs> and the three girls all have their blonde hair too. So right. it's just a really, really funny thing. Uh, I didn't even know before I moved out to Vegas. Uh, I I knew of Murray, but I didn't really know his whole image thing. And I and I, I was able to uh, I, I heard about. Murray and I heard about a few other magicians out here as well too and I had the hairstyle the first and he's like there's only one person in this town with that hairstyle <laughs> so, well the first time I met uh, Murray was uh, we were actually on a red carpet and we were just both looking at each other and my hair was sticking up and it was just really funny and we became friends ever since and just a wonderful guy really cool he's like if you're ever going to make it in this town you're cutting your hair <laughs> <laughs> the only time he ever threatened you I will cut you <laughs> and he meant your hair <laughs> I have the roots though I keep the <coughs> so right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So uh 
before before here, no big show anywhere. Just till you oh, got to Vegas. Well, I I did. Uh, matter of fact, uh, after the after I was doing the card tricks at the pizzeria, that, that was I was thirteen years old. After that, I was seventeen, and I got uh, a job at the at the Staten Island Zoo, and I was doing my show, my full evening show, which was forty five minutes at seventeen years old at the Staten Island Zoo. Wow. Zoo, yeah, three times a day. And um, and we, we had uh, like 200 seats in that room, and the tickets were only four bucks. So uh, and I split that with the zoo, and then they, I split it again, split the two bucks again after paying the whole crew because I didn't know much much about it. And then um, uh, then after that, when I turned 18, I moved out to Las Vegas, and which was really cool. Uh, I got out here, met with a production company that had a connection for all the illusions that were up for sale from Melinda's old show at the Venetian. Right. And uh, so I had uh, had some money saved up, so I went and I bought those illusions, and uh, I went back to New York, and I wound up going to the Tropicana. And since I had these illusions, I got a gig at the Tropicana, ironically, not doing any of those illusions, <laughs> just doing the stuff <laughs> that I did in the evening show at the zoo, because uh, it was a really tight show. And uh, I did 117 shows at the Tropicana Atlantic City, and then... Uh, uh, from there, I went on an, an East Coast tour in New Jersey, Long Island, uh, uh, Staten Island, and New York, all the dinner theaters and, and uh, uh, performance theaters around there. And then uh, after that, when I came out to Las Vegas, the first place that I ever performed was actually the Lamborghini showroom at the Palazzo. So I did a bunch of corporate events there. I was their, their house corporate magician until I got put on another tour got back and then headlined the, Deb the old Debbie Reynolds, which is the Clowry on which they just imploded. Um, and then from there was Boulevard Theater, which is now the Tommy Wynn Theater. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I mean, I've done over 4,000 shows in my lifetime, over 1,021 shows as of last night at the Tommy Wynn Theater. So, wow. Yeah, so it's that exciting. That's really cool. Really Congratulations. You do six nights a week, five nights a week? Uh, six nights a week, off on Wednesdays. Cool. All right, cool. That's cool, yeah. A lot of fun. Afternoon show or evening show? Uh, evening show, 7 o'clock p.m. every night. Very cool. How big is the theater? The theater is 21,000 square feet. For our nightlife events, yeah. we can fit up to anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 people when we have our specialty assembly permits. Uh, uh, below that, we fit uh, 936. For the theater shows, we can fit up to 600 people sitting and watching the show. So, yeah, it's still huge. Yeah, good good, good size uh, crowd with the balcony. And then also when you just have the downstairs open, it's a, it's 300 seats, but it's intimate. So people really feel the, the, the punch of the show. Yeah, that's what magic is the best is when it's close up. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I've seen like, yeah, I've seen Murray up close, and he's done. Yeah, I don't know. How many, I've seen him do several tricks several times, and I'm like, I still don't know how you did that. <laughs> Same with like Mike Hammer. Like it's it's amazing when when it's that close, and you still can't figure it out. But bunch so. of great magicians that you just mentioned there. Really, mm -hmm. really great. And, and that's Let's not get carried away about a hammer. Just huh? well, oh. well, no. I, you know, I, I, I know Mike, I know Murray, I know Jan, I know you know, I know all the magicians here in town and I'm I'm really yeah. cool with all of them and uh, even though the shows are competition, I don't look at it as that way because if this town would really just look at it at instead of each show being each other's competition, of figuring out which ways to get even even five percent of those forty million people a year just to come see shows, everybody would be doing amazing. So it's 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 about time that everybody <coughs> helps out. And you guys all do stuff that's different, so yeah, it's, it's still a different show. Exactly. My show's based on really family more than anything, where I have my whole family in the show. My fiance is my co-star and my assistant in the show. My mom's my assistant in the show. My dad uh is it plays drums in the show with me as well too, and then I even got my grandfather who comes up and does a, a trick at the end of the Aww. night. He's eighty nine years old. Oh what? hey it's trick that's it. That was my trick. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> he's eighty nine years old and he uh, he he's he's still 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 stronger than me and any, anybody on the crew put together. So uh, so he comes in and does stuff too so it's a lot of fun. So uh, let's go back to the uh, the haunted theater. Sure. <laughs> what made you guys think that there was uh, something going on in there? Well, what made us think that it was strange was so first we heard all the stories because you know first it was the Mets, then it was the uh, uh, the Empire Ballroom. Uh, well, before Empire Ballroom was Club Utopia, so there was a bunch of places before we took it over. Then it was the uh, Boulevard Theater, and then I think there was like one more thing that was there that I don't really recall the name, but so apparently. There had 
there have been hauntings that have been going on there. Now, I don't know if this is just, you know, it having literally thousands of staff members make up stories as they went on, but, you know, there was a few strange things where, you know, I was walking by and I, I could have sworn I saw somebody standing by the bar in a long, blue, flowy dress, and I looked again and there was no one there, and then... Um, my fiance Stacy saw uh, this man walk into the bathroom and vanish, and then my mom actually claimed she made friends with the ghost. So uh, because the, you know she would she would just, she and, and here's the thing she's not crazy because everyone saw something. Even right. my general manager was in the bathroom one night after the night the, the uh, our nightlife events were going on, and uh, he put his hands in the sink to wash his hands. He could have sworn something came up and grabbed his hand, but um. But since then, uh, like I said, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I wasn't really a believer that it was haunted uh, in, until uh, some crazy stuff started going. Until he started floating across the room, he's like, yeah, "How the yeah, hell did yeah, I, I do that?" Yeah, one night something was floating in the show, and I just said, "People thought it was part of the show." So, hey, I didn't leave it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, you got, are you? Uh, you gonna go out and tour? Do you do that, or are you just strictly here? Yeah, no, I, I do tours. Uh, I love to do tours. Uh, I just got done, we just got done filming Masters of Illusion in uh, Los Angeles, California. So, which was really excited about that was that that's gonna be on thirteen episodes of CW Network coming up in the the summer. And what I love about going on tour is that like even with that, even though it wasn't a tour, it was a television shoot. It's fun to take the whole crew, the whole family, out to another place and take all of the the the. The stuff that's in the show, the illusions, the, the trucks. I mean, it is aggravation like you wouldn't believe, but it's so much fun. I mean, you see everything coming to life instead of just, you know, every night right now I just I show up to the show, get up on stage, and it's second nature right now. But when you're on tour, you know, you're really on edge because you have to make sure everything is correct. So, uh, and, and I like that feeling. And I like seeing different places and stuff. We do Palm Springs. We do cruise ships. We do... Um, uh, like I said, the television shows as well. So we do a lot. It's a lot of fun. Nice. I've always been curious. Uh, I'm sure you do a lot of the same yeah. tricks. How do you, do you add new tricks often, or how often do you like switch yeah. it up at all? Or? Yeah, sure. Uh, tonight we're actually adding a new trick to the show uh, that we did last night because uh, we did a benefit over at the Hard Rock uh, Vinyl last night, and um, the uh, the we added the new trick last night to that show. We didn't even put it in the main show yet. So that's going in tonight. It's actually, I cut my fiance in half. Um, and uh, it's a really, really cool trick. I got a, what happened? Oh, standing up, yes. <laughs> she's just, she's standing up while I cut her in half, so it makes it different. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, so instead of lying down and cutting half. So she's standing up, cut her in half, and then uh, also we have a new, brand new illusion that's being shipped in on its way right now. And literally we have over 85 illusions in the warehouse that are all different and we change them out of the show. So we got a lot of repeat customers. I have uh, I have about 20 groups of people that have all seen the show 13 times each. Oh, wow. So uh, yeah, so then they keep coming back. They bring friends and family. So it's that's really exciting. So we change it up for them too. So it's cool. <laughs> I'm in town. It's, it's, uh, it's a great time. First time I uh, visited the theater, you had the... Uh, uh, the Naked Magicians in there. Yeah. Those guys were fun. Yeah, they're a really, really good show. Charles Bach and uh, Andrew Goldenhurst was in there. Um, and uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful team of magicians who really know what they're doing with sleight of hand magic and large illusions as well, too. And you see, that's what's different about the theater. We've also had the Magic Palace at the theater where I've had a bunch of magicians come out. Uh, I four wall my room to uh, magicians and I, you know, two Walter magicians, like the, the naked magicians that came in. So the only thing that I really, you know, I, I want to create a performance space in Las Vegas for everyone to perform. We even got the uh, um, Four Funny Bastards opening up, uh, uh, which is um, Bizarro, uh, Greg Doe, right. uh, the Shocker, and then we got, um, uh, it's uh, Balloon Master, and of course Jungle Josh. So they will be opening up at the uh, theater, and we have a front little 50-seat room. Uh, which I'm actually having the stage built now for them, and uh, they're going to be opening up on, I believe it's uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday. They're opening up on Friday. Yeah. Is it Friday? I think it's Friday. <laughs> it's, it's a whole week from the 6th. <laughs> oh, I know. So that's yeah, Friday. Right there we go. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a lot going on, and I can't remember all of it. Right. That's one of the things, yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite trick? My favorite trick? Um, ooh. 
My favorite trick would have to be, there's two favorite tricks. Uh, one of them is called the spiker, which is an, an illusion where I, uh, I push these blades into this box and um, uh, my fiance's in it and I won't tell you what happens with the trick. Uh, and then the other one is the-, the She dies every night. <laughs> <laughs> She's a ghost. You She's a ghost. You married one of the ghosts right? and haunted yeah. It's a good way to go, I like it. <laughs> Oh man! Well, that's one of the tricks. The other one is uh, the wind shear, which I go through a spinning fan blade, and then oh, then I also make a motorcycle appear. That's my favorite. I have a whole bunch of. Uh, I, it's every trick in the show is my favorite trick. So that's that's what's fun. And then so when I have to take one out, I hate myself. So. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, uh, it's awesome. We love uh, having magicians on the show. Your show is a lot of fun. I saw it. Uh, I think I went with Murray. It was either I went with Murray or uh, Niles when he was. Uh, oh, Niels. Niels, Niels when he was yeah, when he was juggling. Yeah. Yeah, Niels is great. Yeah, when Niels comes in, he juggles. Uh, he opens my show all the time. Wonderful, wonderful juggler. Really, really good. We actually just speaking of jugglers, we just had Michael Gudo open the show uh, a few months ago. Uh, who used to be Lance Burton's opening juggler, and then we also had, uh, we also, and we still have uh, Tino Ferrari. I don't know if you know Tino. He balances on like everything. Like he's able to balance on like like pots and pans and and just like it's it's amazing. So we have some really good opening acts for the show, um, which is a whole bunch of fun too. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. I. Uh, Best way people can find out your schedule is Facebook. Uh, yeah, you can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all under uh, Tommy Wind. Uh, it's uh, Facebook is the one I'm mainly on the most. Instagram second, and I, I don't go on Twitter that much. I try to get on there. I still can't figure out because I have the old phone and I got to get a new iPhone six. And figure yeah, out rotary out. phones suck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really rough for Twitter. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, I don't know, but. Uh, it's it's yeah so it's it's basically Facebook Twitter or Instagram I update them all the time Facebook more than any of the other ones uh, and then uh, you can check us out on, on TommyWindMagic.com uh, and TommyWindTheater.com as well too we actually have uh, huge names coming up for Fight Weekend that we're gonna have uh, at night for our nightlife and lounge uh, Mist which is uh, MYST we're there every Saturday and we're uh, we have our events every Saturday and then uh, Thursday Friday and Saturdays are coming up too so we do catering we do uh, huge events parties besides the shows and uh, we even have a restaurant opening up this year uh, which is really exciting so we even had Lizzie's Hookah Lounge open up which is doing very well they just do uh, hookah on our outside terrace and then we're going to be having the View Restaurant Bar and Grill open up uh, right there on our terrace that overlooks the Vegas Strip so we're excited so you're not going anywhere anytime soon nope nope not going anywhere right? yeah let me I want to set that record straight. I am not going to any place anytime soon the show everybody thinks that it's a limited run It's I've been there for two years and literally I have a, a, a five year contract with an extension on it so I will be there. I've been there for two years, so I will be there for at least another three, uh, and then if I sign an extension, it's going to be for another five years after that. So, and the plan is to go uh, uh, bigger and bigger, make the show better and better, and uh, we're looking to even expand that property in the future as well, and then uh, move out to portion out for our night uh, nightlife events and uh, our other pro other properties as well too. But always having the Tommy Wynn Theater to have my show uh, be housed at the Tommy Wynn Theater. So. Very cool. Really excited about that. Have you ever gotten a fight with uh, one of your girlfriends and made him disappear and not bring him back? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's, uh, well, I don't have any girlfriends. Just have my fiance and. Because uh, all the others have disappeared. Well, 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 if we get into it, if we get into a fight and I put her in the box and make her disappear, she she always comes back yelling worse than before. So no, no, I, she's wonderful. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, but no, you know something? I think that when you when you are on stage with your family, there's always going to be that craziness and that arguing about whether it's whether it's with my mom, my dad, my fiance, my grandpa, there's always going to be that, that crazy arguing about, you know, making the show better and better. And it's all out of passion. It's all out of love. And I have to tell you, I love my whole family and I'm super excited. We're going to be getting, me and my fiance, Stacy getting married this year uh, coming up. And I'm so excited about that. And I feel literally, truly blessed to have. How does she feel about it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about it? Oh, um, I don't have a microphone. <laughs> she doesn't have a microphone. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's 
good stuff. Well, I, it's, it's awesome to have you on the show. Finally, it took a took quite a bit of time, but yeah, yeah. I am so sorry. No, hey, yeah, you're I, busy. I, I actually, I love the show. I listen to the show, and I, um, I just, it's been, it's been crazy. I mean, we're working eighteen hour days over there just with the show and the the uh, lounge going on, and it's it, we're, we're doing so many other things because we're actually booking tours for next winter, and um, we're we're always thinking of new ways to increase and make the show that much better, and uh, and like I said. It's, it's one of the family-friendly shows in Las Vegas that is a family-friendly magic show where people could really come and watch a family-friendly show and not have to worry about their kids uh, you know, being offended in any way. There's no innuendos in the show. It's just fun, family-filled. And we even have another show right after mine, the only family-friendly hypnotist show in Las Vegas, which is Justin Trance, So Nice. Very cool. That's awesome. Well, I don't want to keep you. I know you got to get back to your show well, and stuff. I appreciate it. Well, but thank you so thanks much for coming for on. Out, though. I appreciate for sure, it. come back anytime, man. Yeah, and please check us out. Uh, like I said, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you could also find uh, Stacy on there. Uh, Stacy, Stacy, what's your Facebook? Stacy, Stacy. <laughs> That's my Instagram. That's her Instagram, Stacy Las Vegas. You can find Tommy Wynn. You can, um, find uh, me under Stacy Marie Jackson. Uh, you can find her the Stacy Marie Jackson. She's got a one. You can find my mom under Arlene uh, Lisi Ricardo and my dad Tom Ricardo and me under Tommy Wynn. And we just blast out as much promotion for the show, so you can find out about cool new offers we got going on on all of our our uh, social media. Very cool. Well, uh, again, cool. thanks for stopping by, man. Thank you. Give it up for Tommy Wynn, everybody. Yeah. Woo! Uh, we'll be back after this. That was awesome. I'm definitely going to check that out. I love that. That sounds really fun. That's family friendly. That's perfect.